a spitfire on the school run. This flypast was in honour of a Sussex boy who grew up to become a Battle of Britain fighter pilot. Arthur Ede went to Midhurst Grammar, now Midhurst Rother College. When he left school, he joined the RAF, eventually becoming a Spitfire pilot. He flew out of West Hamlet during the Battle of Britain. Today, his great-niece Megan Ede, a student at Midhurst Rother College, was part of the ceremony to remember him. A plaque was unveiled in his memory. Megan and her immediate family only recently learned of their connection to Arthur Ede and his Battle of Britain past. I went to a museum with my nana and my granddad and we had seen Arthur William Zeed and his log books and his photo and a bit of description about him. But we didn't realise he was actually related, but we had thought, oh, maybe he was. So now you've learned a bit more, what yeah. do you think? Well, it's quite exciting because I'm quite proud to be related to him because obviously he's done something really worthwhile and he was awarded the Air Force Cross, so it makes it even bigger. <laughs> Arthur Ede was shot down in 1941. He was wounded but lived and survived the war. This school is proud of his service. Absolutely, and uh, the history of warfare is always about individuals as much as it is about countries and events. It's also, when, when it comes down to it, it's about individuals and their experiences, whether they're in combat or whether they're civilians. The Battle of Britain Historical Society is helping put plaques in schools where Battle of Britain pilots were pupils. Well, it's very important because we need to educate the generation today about the part that these Battle of Britain pilots played in uh, turning the tide during 1940. If we don't have them, people are unaware that these young, brave men uh, were doing the job. Today's fly-past and ceremony was in honour of one pilot, one of the few. It was done in the hope all at the school will remember Arthur Ede and the others who fought in the skies of southern England so long ago. Mark Sanders, BBC South Today, Midhurst.